And we're off to the third and last game for today. And it is by Mario Chavara, Chavara Rodriguez. And he was playing with the black piece against Boas Briefmann. So let's begin d4 and f6, bishop 4 e6. Another, well, Nimso setup at least. I like it. And here, bishop b4 check. This doesn't help you, right? Uh, you're forcing white to play a move that he would like to play anyway, the move c3, and you're just losing a tempo. So just play c5 and so forth. This is the very topical uh, London system, and white will go c3 anyway, so you're just giving him an extra move, right? So I'd recommend you check this out, this whole system, and check what the good players are playing here. Uh, for example, you could look at Kamski against Nakamura, or Giri against So, where's the So, uh, as one kind of line to play. And look at this, because a lot of people are playing it these days. Okay, bishop d3. All right, so all natural development development moves. I don't have anything to say here. That's all fine. It's all good. A6, queen b1, h6. All makes sense. Takes, takes. And here, knight d7. Okay, that's possible. But I thought maybe just bishop d6. Just exchange this bishop. And if knight a 3 now, just take, play knight d7. And really, white can't claim anything here. Uh, this is just equal. I mean, yes, visually he has the better bishop, but it doesn't count for anything here. You just try to get e5 in, and it's just completely equal. So bishop d6, I thought, was, was also possible, but knight d7 is fine. But still, you want to get rid of this bishop on g3, as it's really annoying, I think, personally. And a knight on d7 is not that great anyway, so here you could just go back knight f6. Plan bishop d6 once again. Yeah, just fine, like that. Okay, I mean also what you're playing is fine, but it seems white has a little bit of pressure. Just a little bit. Rook e8, f4. Okay, now you go f5. Not sure if this is necessary. White has just weakened himself. And this move looks especially odd because it's blocking the, the bishop on g3, making it kind of bad, right? Um, so maybe you can just go knight f6 here. Because white obviously wants to go knight f3, knight e5. But now if white goes knight f3, you'll put a knight in yourself on e4. Mm. And then it's nice to be still flexible with the pawn on f7 instead of f5 because that means you can still push a knight out of e5 by going f6 at the right point in time. Maybe even here. Why not? So f5 is possible but it's also quite committal. So not sure if that was indicated here. Okay. Here, bishop f6. What I don't like is your knight on d7. The knight on d7, it's kind of passive. I want to get to e4. So go knight f6. Just bring it to e4. Um, yeah, white can put a knight on e5, but you'll also have a strong knight on e4 and asking some questions to this bishop. And notice, by the way, the bishop h4, maybe you were afraid of that, not sure. Could be answered by g5 here, f takes it, now knight e4, pinning the pawn on g5 and winning it back the next move. Or, well, if y takes an e4, then you'll win it back, certainly. So bishop f6, and it seems you're just like waiting, kind of passively. Queen d1, queen e7, queen e2, rook a8, queen f2. And this is an important moment. 
why did chess play, play queen f2? And I'm sure you thought about what he wanted to exchange his bad bishop on g3 against your bishop on f6. So this is classic prophylactic thinking. He wants to go bishop h4. Okay, so how do I stop that? I play king h7. And why do I do it? We'll see in the game. Because now after bishop h4, you can answer that with g5. Just push the bishop back. In the game, you just ignored it. You focus on your own play of bishop c6. But now after bishop h4, now you do have to allow the trade of bishops, which isn't the end of the world either. Uh, but it's not why allowed in the first place, right? But instead you play g5 here, and now it just, just doesn't work because of this pin. He took on g5 first, he could also play queen, queen g3 first. Um, a lot of moves do work here. So this is just basic tactics, right? Um, so not sure what to recommend here. I guess just have your whatever you want, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of tactics every day staying sharp because i know obviously you are a player who usually sees these kind of things but sometimes we overlook it and can really be annoying obviously to just almost lose the game in one move right uh, so we want to avoid this and the only way to do this is to stay sharp by solving tactics on a regular basis uh, preferably every single day even if it's just 15 minutes or even less, even if you just saw five tactics every day, still, it will help, obviously. Yeah, maybe you didn't look for too many moves here. Maybe you were just on like autopilot thinking, okay, he has to retreat and just weren't looking at other moves that comes back to this topic of candidate moves. Taking moves, right? Bishop takes g5 is a taking move. We have to consider it, even though, even if we only take a few seconds to consider, we still have to consider it. And then we'll just check real quick. Is there any follow up? And then we'll see already. Oh, queen g3 wins back to peace, wins a pawn. That's bad. So shouldn't play this. All right, queen g7. Now it takes, takes. You're down a pawn, but. You're doing the best you can to play on. Here, knight of six. Uh, looks logical, but I think it would be better to just get the king out of there as fast as possible. You don't want to have the king here on g8 because that's where the position is going to be opened. And you want to have your rooks here because this is where white needs to break through, right? He needs to... Uh, um, somehow get his play going here along with g4 where else could he do it i mean b3 hmm you could maybe even go b5 then just keep it close like that e4 is impossible so you just want to be able to to occupy those those files so nothing's happening there so get your king out of the way i would say knight of six knight of three rook e7 bishop e8 that's it's good Exchange in the night is also good. And I think you're doing a good defensive task here. Defensive job. Uh, but I don't quite know what happened here. Because here the game just stops and it says you lost. So I'm not quite sure what kind of game that was. Maybe it was a blitz game and you lost on time. Because I don't think you played this move and resigned. That wouldn't make much sense. Um, and you're still fighting here. I mean, the game is not over yet. Obviously, white is up a pawn, but well, let's say rook takes a6, rook takes b2. It's You're still fighting. Rook takes e6 isn't possible because of bishop f7. Um, and yes, white is clearly better, maybe winning. I don't know. But he still has to convert it. He still has to show it. So I can't say anything about that. Uh, because I don't know, but obviously <laughs> if you just threw in the towel here, that would be too early. Just too early. Keep fighting till the end. All 
All right, I'm checking the chat if you are there and watching, but it doesn't look like. So Kevin, you're asking why not F5 by white? Well, now I have to find out when. Why not F5 by white? Well, that needs, I mean, the only moment I can imagine must be here when I said knight f6, right? And now f5. Yeah, I mean, I guess white could do this, but I think just bishop d6 is completely fine. If bishop h4, e5 looks quite strong with black. And what else? I think it's fine. I think the white king is weaker than the, the, the black king here. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so I got the right moment. And Jürgen is asking, is the knight mode giving me more, me more elo? Yes, it is. So always turn it on. All right, so let's sum this game up. What did I notice here? Well, first of all, in the opening, don't give your opponent an extra move, of course, that's not necessary. Um, then you develop very sensibly and you equalized. And I think it would have made sense to, to exchange this bishop on g3 early on. And then I think playing more active, getting this knight to e4 made more sense. But this is all, it's minor stuff, right? Where the game was decided was this move g5, more or less. That just brought you in a clearly worse position. And from there on, you're struggling, obviously, being a pawn down. So this is where you need to focus on. And like I said, to do this is solving tactics. Just easy ones, whatever. They don't have to be that tough. Just making sure your mind stays sharp and you spot those things instantly. You spot them within seconds. You'll see G5 and you'll see, oh, doesn't work, pin, right? Your mind will just look out for those things automatically, okay? And then in the end, I don't know what happened, why the game ended prematurely, so I can't comment on that. All right, Mario, I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm not sure if you're watching right now. Uh, but I hope you can see this analysis soon. And then um, thank you for sending in the game.